Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasik with the 5MinuteBookkeeping.com blog where we show you how to minimize bookkeeping and maximize profits. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to work with money and transactions from the banking transactions window, also known as the bank fiends. This is my method number one, and I also have method number two that I'll show you in a separate video. If you like this video, make sure you click that you like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel, and visit our blog at 5minutebookkeeping.com. And here's the tutorial. Let's go over the first method of working with money and transactions. With this method, you enter an invoice, a customer payment, and a deposit in QuickBooks before you match up the transaction in the banking center. Let's go over the general workflow process so that you can get familiar with what should happen in QuickBooks before you attempt to match money and transactions in the banking center. For most of you, your money in process will start with an invoice. For purposes of our example, I've already entered this invoice in QuickBooks. After you receive payment from your customer, then you record a receive payment transaction. Here's a receive payment transaction that I entered. You'll notice that I entered the payment method as a check. I entered the check number that I received in the reference field. And in the deposit to window, instead of choosing the checking account, I chose the undeposited funds account. This is very important and you'll see why in just a moment. So just remember to choose the undeposited funds account. And the rest is simple. I clicked on the box next to the invoice that I received and I made sure that the amount that I received is the amount of the invoice that was paid by the customer. We'll save and close this. Next, I'll record the amount that was deposited at the bank. I'll verify the account to make sure that this is the account where the funds were deposited. I'll make sure that this is the date on which the funds were deposited in the bank. I'll click on the box next to the check that was deposited. And in this case, we'll assume that only this check was deposited on this day. And then I'll verify the amount to ensure that this is the same amount that the bank shows as deposited on that day. If everything looks good, then I'll save and close. Now we can go to the banking center, find the account where the money was deposited, find that deposit it should say match there it is now we can click match 